If you've never been here, this is the Bahia Honda State Park in the Florida Keys. This is a little bit south of Marathon, Florida, which is about halfway down the Florida Keys, just beyond the south end of the famous Seven Mile Bridge and approximately one hour from Key West. The bridge with the break in it is quite iconic of the Florida Keys. And most people, probably everybody that's ever driven to Key West has noted this. This bridge, completed in 1912, was part of Henry Flagler's ambitious Overseas Railroad Project, which connected mainland Florida to Key West. Imagine the excitement back then as this engineering marvel opened up new possibilities for travel and commerce. After the devastating Labor Day hurricane of 1935, the bridge was abandoned by the railroad, but found a new life as part of the overseas highway carrying cars instead of trains. I'm walking up this path from the beach to go up underneath the bridge. One of the interesting things about the 20-odd bridges on the way to Key West is that each one is constructed differently. Some are just piles of dirt, some are made of concrete, some like this are made out of steel. It depends on the underlying terrain. And the name Bahia Honda means deep bay. The passage under this bridge is the deepest in the Keys and is over 20 feet deep at some points, while most of the water in the Keys is no more than three or four feet deep. Here you get a better idea of the depth of the water, and certainly there are big fish, and this is a common fishing area if you bring your boat. From here, you can walk down to the foot of the ramp leading up to the paved portion of the bridge where it was converted for car and truck traffic. This bridge was actually still in use as late as the 1970s when the new bridge was constructed. The water around Bahia Honda is beautiful and many years ago this was voted the top beach in America but this sargassa weed has become a big problem as for environmental reasons they decided to stop cleaning it off the beach so sometimes the beach is a little smelly and there are little bugs in that sargassa that tend to bite your ankles this doesn't keep people out of the water of course particularly on a hot day like this so it's a nice beach but doesn't have the uh, characteristic look it used to have and this is a nice exercise walk up this ramp area where you get to the approach that cars and trucks would use to get to the bridge proper. The view from up here is pretty spectacular. In case you haven't guessed, this entire video was filmed using an Insta360 X4 camera, which is a 360 degree camera with up to 8K resolution at 30 frames per second. The camera costs about $400, available on Amazon. I'll include a link below. Of course, it's an affiliate link. For reasons unknown, they put up a barricade here that blocks access to the last couple hundred feet of the bridge, 
You used to be able to walk all the way to the end where the bridge was broken up to let taller ships come through. And this actually gave you a view of the road on the other side. From this distance, you can barely see the second part of the bridge. It says it was for safety concerns. Nothing really visibly looks wrong here, so who knows, maybe somebody was jumping off. If it wasn't so hot, I could have spent all day up here enjoying this view. So that's the video for today. I certainly encourage you to stop by this park. It's uh, very inexpensive to enter, about $4 a person, up to $8 a car, I think. It is a state park. There's camping. There's several beaches. There is a store that offers ice cream and food. There's also a marina. So it's a well-known landmark and probably the only real sand beach available in the Florida Keys, meaning that you can actually go in the water and not cut your feet.